Hey, how y'all doing? This is uh, Sanford with the man thing. Hey, um, put a little new little tab or whatever the hell it's called over there on YouTube. Uh, it's going to be called uh, Society Remix. And so it's going to be a little series of different videos. I had, had a subscriber ask a couple times about seeing more of me and less of AI and things like that. So here you go. This video right here, I'm just going to simply call it her. ATR. Her. So stay tuned. you missed the intro i am sanford with uh, man thing and if you don't mind i would appreciate you going ahead hitting the subscribe and like if you like this type of video or if not go check out some other videos over there and uh on, on a man thing and see what you think uh, i appreciate it um this video here like i said in the intro it's gonna be simply called her <laughs> Don't ask me why. Um, anyway, uh, Society Remix is, like I said, I don't know how many videos I'm going to do, but uh, uh, it gives me another opportunity to be on here and talk about uh, different things. Uh, I try not to get onto uh, too much of a high horse on different topics, uh, but it's topics that do, does need to be addressed and or that I feel is necessary. That's my opinion. So, this video here is called, uh, like I said, called Her, ATR. And basically, what it is is this. Uh, I was born and raised in Dallas. I was born in 68. And, um, but uh, even though I was born in 68, I'm still born, I'm still kind of raised old school. Um, you know, there's four of us kids. I'm being, I've been the oldest. I've never. Um, no, I'm not saying that all my brother, and my two sisters, all inherited all this stuff, but I did. Uh, whether it's built into me uh, by the talk and things like that, or maybe it's something because I was interested or whatever, it doesn't matter. The thing of it is, is I was kind of raised old school by my grandparents and by my mom. My dad was not around. We did go see him and stay, you know, a weekend or so with him occasionally, but he never really was a dad. Uh, it still ain't today. Um, but um, but either or, so mom, mom raised us uh, the best that she could, and I think she did a damn fine job. And uh, so women uh, nowadays is, I'm, I'm not talking about just the young generation, I'm talking even some of the generation around my age, some of them even a little older, but around my age, and, you know, area. Uh, and I've ran it, like I said, I've ran into a couple uh, just here in town that are older than me <laughs> several years and fallen in this category and uh, I know society is different now than it used to be I think it's piss poor I think that uh, if if, uh, if I could ever develop a, a time machine or whatever I would change the whole world go back to the 1950s or so uh, is what I would like to do um, but uh, anyway, uh, I, I like to get rid of cell phones. I like to get rid of all kinds of stuff. But uh, beside the point, women nowadays don't give a shit. Um, you know, they, they want to be on this little high horse of, well, we want to get paid as much as a man. We want to be treated like a man. We want to be... Uh, 
you know, in charge. We want to uh, be strong. We want to be uh, independent. We want to be this and that. And it's all fine and dandy. It's all good stuff. Don't get me wrong. But when it steps into other categories, and I'm talking simple things, the guy opening the door for you. You know, I was raised. I mean, matter of fact, I, being the oldest, I had to open the door for my brother, my two sisters, then my mom, and my grandparents if they happened to be there. But I opened the door for them. And I was the last one in. And when we came out of the restaurant or wherever we went, I opened the door for them. And, see, we didn't have automatic doors back then. If we did, they were very limited, okay? Uh, or I don't remember most of them, whatever. I'm sure the malls probably had some, something like that. But I never went to the malls. But uh, always, you know, open a door for, for a woman, for a lady, okay, is very simple. You walk up to the door, and whether it's a lady with you or it's a, just a, a stranger just walking up saying, you reach your hand out and you grab hold of the door handle and you open it up and you say, go ahead, ma'am. Then you go in and the door closes behind you. Now, whether you have to pull that door or push that door, it don't take that much strength, Okay. But then you got women that, that says, man, man, treat me like I'm a weakling or treat me like I'm a slave or, you know, being, he's being, metal, you know, chauvinist or whatever, you know. All it is is respect. 99.99% .99 of the man that's going to open the door for you is not doing it because they want to get your goddamn pennies. They're doing it because out of respect and you go to the small towns kind of like where I am you see a lot more of it not as much as you did 10 years ago 15 years ago but you do see a lot of it the smaller the town the more you'll see of it uh, because we still got uh, our morals see I was raised up I was raised up in Dallas and I did that uh, but now coming here in Oklahoma and stuff I mean I, I still do it and I see other people do it uh, now, what I really hate is when you open a door for, for a lady, and whether she's on the phone, whether she's talking to her friend, whether she's by herself, or whatever, and she comes out, say, you know, you're walking up the door, and you see her coming, so you open the door for her, you let her out, and she don't say thank you, or nod her head, or make any type of gesture that you just did what you did. They're just going to walk on through, like, I ain't got to say shit to you, motherfucker. You know, man, 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 you know. Well, I've been known to reach over and just slightly two fingers, grab your shirt sleeve, and most of the time they don't even know what's even happening. And I just kind of tug on them, put them right back in the store, and close the door and look at them. I've done that two or three times. Then they really get pissed off. But the thing of it is, is this. Maybe that's wrong too, but maybe it is, is. I'm not taking no time out of my schedule to open that door for you. I don't want your pennies. I'm happily married. I don't want your phone number. I don't want to say hi to you. Maybe I'm not even in the mood to even talk to you. But I'm going to open the door for you. Hell, I do it for guys too sometimes, you know, especially when they get their hands full, you know, 12 pack of beer and some cigarettes and, uh, box of condoms or whatever, <laughs> whatever, and so I opened up, you know, but, uh, but women, you know, you open the door for them, you open the car door for them, you close the door, car door for them, you don't do it just because you're on a date, you do it because it's the lifestyle, it should be that way, we're not saying that you're not strong enough to open that door, we're not saying that you are weak, we're not saying that you are uh, fragile, or we're not saying, we're saying that you're a woman, and you ought to be treated like such. Simple as that. Now I've been talking, uh, I did my first video. I'll put it on in the next couple of days probably. Once I get it edited, I'm trying to keep these things down about 30 minutes or less, so you ain't gotta look at all this. And if you like looking at all this, 
leave a comment down there. So, but, <clears throat> you know, it don't have to do with just the door. It has to do with respect from both sides. I respect her, even though I don't know her. She's a stranger to me. But because I was raised, because of the morals that I had, because of the conscience that I had, because I, I see my grandmother slapping me in the back of the head if I don't. <laughs> but open the door, closing the door, saying hello, ma'am. How you doing, ma'am? And say that's another thing, you know, people, you know, you call them ma'am. I ain't much older than you are, or I ain't as old as you are, or whatever. Ma'am don't have an age on it. You're a woman. You are a ma'am. Now, if you're down here and you're 14, 15 years old, I'm not going to call you a ma'am. You know? But if you're 17, 18, you're working behind that counter waiting on me or waiting tables for on me or whatever, I'm going to call you a ma'am. Because now you are working and making a living. So now, whether you're 17, 18, 21, 26, 36, whatever, you are now considered a woman, a, a grown-up, and I'm going to call you man. Now, I may not do it once you get outside because you're 17, 18 years old. I'm still going to open the door for you, but I ain't going to call you man. See? There's a, you know, a little difference in that. But still, for women that want to bitch and cry because the guy called her ma'am, there's a whole lot more things to get pissed off at in this world today. Thieves, the drug addicts, the, the child molesters, the whatever and whatever out there, and the government, of course, doing all this shit they're doing to us and forcing us to do this and forcing us to do that. and. We'll get into that on a different video, maybe. But uh, right now, I'm just looking at her. She is a woman. She can make a million dollars a week, be the most beautiful thing in the world, or be the ugliest thing in the world. It does not matter. She can make no money a month or a million dollars a month, whatever. I'm going to open the door for you. I see you coming, but you're going in or you're coming out, I'm going to open the door for you if I'm able to get there before you do. So, that's pretty much all I had to say about that, except for one more thing that just in my mind. It's the women that does that, the women that complain about that, the women that complain about being called ma'am, or being respected by a, a gentleman by opening the door, you're missing out on a lot. You're missing out on a lot of opportunities to meet somebody, whether dating or just as friends or whatever. You're missing out on an opportunity for a smile. You're missing out on an opportunity of just a, a good gesture. You know, I guarantee you, you could take that, that woman that wants a bitch and grab about you opening that goddamn door for her and blast it all over Facebook. Hey, there's some bitch opening the door thinking, I can't do this and I can't do that, and blah, blah. And then he, then he was off and had some nerve call me ma'am. Well, he was 20 years older than me. That same woman I'd walk up to and say, ma'am, here's $200 to help you out through the day. I just felt like he needed it. She would say, thank you, sir. <laughs> I appreciate that. And Facebook would not be filled up with, oh, he called me ma'am, then he gave me $200. No. Some guy gave me $200 for nothing. Wow, what did I do to deserve that? You know? Yeah. Y'all know who you talk, y'all know, y'all know who you are, and, you know, so be it, that's who you are, so, y'all have a good day, and I'll catch you on the next one.